Well, and it's even more intense. And and what I saw when I saw this 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 analysis last fall, on a county level, the the correlation between Trumpist voting red, redness of a county at the county level, three thousand counties ranked from most to least Trumpy, if you will. Uh, it just it is step by step at every ten percent up the up the line toward redness. Your, the numbers, the chances of dying of COVID are greater. Uh, so it, it, the correlation was was astonishing to me, and that's what made me really begin looking at this correlation. You know, as, as you say, back at the beginning when people were quarantining or not, masking or not, whatever, there wasn't much difference between the rate at which Republicans and Democrats and independents died. There just wasn't. But now, in the last year, and just starting as soon as there were vaccines available, uh, there were. And, and it really, it strikes me that this is like, uh, it's so much like the mass human sacrifices in societies in the past, which took place in large, complex empires, not, not unlike ours. It wasn't primitive, what we would then call primitive tribes. They were big, complex societies. And that's what we're seeing yeah. here. And by the way, it wasn't, it was done by those societies and by the elites in those societies in order to reinforce uh, their political power. And often their their non-egalitarian societies, which again, strikes me as very comparable to what's going on here and now.